Rumor has it, you need to buy a t-shirt from Amazon.com. I would be delighted to walk you through this process, and this process begins with getting to the Amazon website. So start by opening up a web browser on your computer, and here at the top of your web browser window, you can type in the website Amazon.com. This will take you to the Amazon homepage. You'll see here at the top a, this very large search bar. This is where you will type in a search term for whatever you are looking for. Today we're looking for t-shirts, so I'm typing in the search term t-shirt. Amazon will also give you suggestions down here that may or may not be helpful, and you can use that if you'd like to. Once you have the search term you would like, hit enter. This will pull up a range of options. Now, another feature of the search bar is over here on the left side. If you click on it, you'll see a drop-down menu that shows you all the different departments of the different things you can buy on Amazon. If you don't select a specific department, it means whatever search term you, you type in here, Amazon gives you results for everything they sell. Now, usually, you'll get generally what you need, but it does mean you might get some results that are less than helpful. For example, among all these t-shirts, here is a song called t-shirt. So, not really what we're looking for. So, to streamline your search term, here, click the, the drop-down menu, and then select whatever department makes sense for what you're looking for. Today we're buying a t-shirt, so the department clothing, shoes, and jewelry will do the trick. Now, in addition to specifying by department, you probably also want to specify your search term. Presumably you have an idea of the kind of t-shirt you'd like to buy. Now, you could specify a color, like a blue t-shirt. So if you add blue to your search term and hit enter, you will see a range of blue t-shirts. You could even add an additional specifier, like a blue striped t-shirt. And once again, a range of options. Now, the modifier you add doesn't have to be a color or a pattern. It could also have to do with what the t-shirt conveys. You could simply look for a funny t-shirt. Now, I'm a Star Wars fan, so I'm going to look for a funny Star Wars t-shirt. And here Google's even given me that option auto-completed for me. Now, I'm partial to the color blue, and I think this shirt over here is cute, so I'm going to click on the Star Wars Forest of Endor Summer Camp short shirt to get some more information about it and see if it's what I want to buy. Now, when you first get to the page for a specific t-shirt, there is a lot to look at. First of all, you get a picture of the t-shirt, and if you take your mouse and hover over the t-shirt picture, you will actually get a magnification, which gives you an even clearer look at the t-shirt you're thinking of buying. All the way over here on the left, the, you can see if the vendor has put additional pictures of the product. In this case, they have, but it's not actually another picture of the t-shirt, it's a sizing chart, which is a very helpful tool to make sure you get the size that you need. It should be noted that for t-shirts where the vendor hasn't offered up a specific sizing chart, Amazon has a sizing chart over here. If you click on this link, it will pop up a sizing chart, which is Amazon's default sizing guidelines for vendors. In a situation like this, where you have two different sizing chart options, I would recommend going with the sizing chart that is being provided by the t-shirt vendor, since that is the most likely to be accurate for this t-shirt. Now we have some other options to look at as well. For example, for this t-shirt, we can choose different fits. There's a men's fit, a youth fit, and a women's fit that have to do with different sizing and proportions. I prefer the way the men's cut of t-shirt fits, so I'm going to select the men's, men's fit type. We also have a range of colors, and you select it by clicking on a different color of t-shirt. And here, we can see how the t-shirt looks printed on all these different colors of t-shirt. 
I like the first one on the light blue, so I'm going to click that. Now the last thing we have to select before we can add this t-shirt to our shopping cart is the size. Once again, you can consult those sizing charts to help you, and then you can pick one of the available options. Sometimes you won't see all the options you expect, and that is frequently because the vendor is out of those sizes at the, that time. And um, a little statement will sometimes pop up that lets you know what's going on. Once we have all these attributes selected the way that we want, over here on the right hand side of the screen we can click Add to Cart. Once you click it, you take into a new screen that has a confirmation bar up here that shows you what you added to your cart, the price, and you get a choice. You can either continue to shop by putting in a new search term, or you can proceed to checkout. We're just here for a t-shirt, so I'm going to proceed to check out by clicking that button. Now in order to check out, you either have to have a pre-existing Amazon account and sign in with it, or you need to create an account. To create a new Amazon account, you click this button down here. Once you do that, you will fill out your name and your email and choose a password that's at least six characters long. I already have an Amazon account, so I'm going to click this link down here to go back to actually sign in with my existing account. For the future, once you've created your account, you'll simply sign in by putting in the email you signed up with and whatever password you chose, and then clicking this button to sign in. Once you sign in, you're automatically taken to the next step in the checkout process. Because I already have an Amazon account and I've ordered things from Amazon before, there's already address and payment information logged in for me and they have uh, chosen defaults based on my most recent purchases. But if you're a new Amazon customer, what you'll see is the screen that I can pull up by clicking this change button here. And in future, when you have an, an existing account, if the address you see here isn't what you want, just click change, and that will take you to the full address window. If you don't already have the address you need here, because you have a new account, or you're just using a new location, there's this Add New Address link here, and if you click it, it will pull up this window that lets you put in all the information you need for that address, and then you can click Use That Address to save it. Once you've selected the address that you want, you click Use This Address down here, and it will automatically take you to the next step. Once again, like with the address, I already have pre-existing payment information, but if you hit the Change button, that will show you the full payment window where, once again, you can either select a pre-existing payment method or you can add a credit or debit card by using this link here. And if you click it, once again, you get a window that shows you the cards that Amazon will accept and you can put in the information. Once you've selected the card that you want to use for this order, you just click the Use This Payment Method button down here. Now, once you've done that, you're on to the last step of the process, which simply is looking over your, your purchase and making sure everything looks right. This shows you what you're buying, the quantity, and then you choose your shipping option. And once you've confirmed that it's all correct, you would click here for place your order. Now, I'm not actually going to buy this t-shirt today, so I'm not going to hit the place your order button. But if you do, when you do hit the place your order button, it will take you back to the Amazon website. And up in this area, you will see a bar that confirms for you that the order has gone through or will let you know if there was a problem with it and will give you instructions for how to successfully complete the checkout. You will also get a confirmation email sent to whatever email you signed up with Amazon. If, for whatever reason, you are concerned your order didn't go through or you even need to change your order, Amazon has this, op this option here. You, if you click Orders, it will show you whatever current orders you have and give you information. If you have any other concerns about your order or any other questions about using Amazon.com, at the bottom of the Amazon website on every page is this footer which includes, over on the right-hand side, all these helpful links 
that will direct you to the resources or people that you need to solve your problem. Now, I hope this video helped you find out what you needed to know about ordering a t-shirt on Amazon and that you have the best of luck with all your future Amazon orders.